We've got the boat in the water. We've got about an hour of light left. We're gonna punch out somewhere, get shelter in the morning. Great barrier reef. Let's go, kids. Woo! Get in on down. Oh. Stand behind the motor. This is getting a big Yeah. Oh. There's the shark. Yeah. Two whales about 20 metres from the boat. Oh, there it is. Done that. Well, we've um, had all sorts this morning. <sighs> yeah, waking up at three in the morning, got to change the tire. Ew. <laughs> uh, we'll get it done and we'll get out of here. Couldn't get the spare off, pump wouldn't work, so we had to drag the boat to the um, nearest service station and just fill up with air. Just going nice and slow. I and mean, everything else is going good so far. We're about three, four hours into our trip. And I don't know, we've just hit bushfires or something and we had about zero visibility in front of us on the Bruce Highway. Never had anything like that. Literally could, could see two meters in front of you. We are actually heading up to Stanich Bay. From there, we're gonna head out to a group of islands called the Percy Group. It's about 30 mile from Stanich and we're gonna base ourselves around those group of islands. Hopefully if the weather's good, which is looking mid, we're gonna be heading out to the outer Great Barrier Reef. <laughs> So we've just pulled up at our last fuel stop. We've got about 620 litres in total. So we've got 11 jerry cans, it's 220 litres. We've got a 400 litre tank underneath where I'm sitting right now. Hopefully that's enough to do what we need to do. Quickly take you for a little run down on the boat. We've got our fridge freezer there. Parker is sitting on the esky and then up in the cabin. Currently we've got the fishing rods on the bed, clothes bag. And we've got also storage underneath our bedding. So we just put in 401 litres of fuel so we can go out to the reef. Let's go! Yes, we're on the final stretch. We're on the last road into Stanage. We are racing a tide. It's dropping at the moment and we've got to get there, get the boat in the water and get out. We haven't hit the dirt corrugated roads yet. But when we do, we're going to jump out and try to rig up something to protect from stone chips. I've put some shade cloth. Woo! Final product. You can see that goes right underneath. Wraps under the whole boat. Hopefully, that does something. Well done, honey. No arguments on that one. We nailed it. Good stuff. Let's do it. We've got about an hour of light left. We're going to um, punch out to our, I don't know where we're punching out to. We're going to punch out somewhere, get shelter in the morning. Great barrier reef. Let's go kids. Woo! Righto, eh? just got all settled in. I've been rigging up a few rods. Keone's been setting up the boat, so it's uh, habitable. I thought Keone was just on the cook, but she's got something else going as well. Uh, so I hired a sat phone from Global Sat. They're over at West Ipswich. I'm just about to drop our GPS location to my parents. I'm just to let them know we're safe and just check in every day. So you can text or you can call. Anywhere? Anywhere. On that note, we are going wide tomorrow. We're going out to the outer Great Barrier Reef. We've also got the big GME EPIRB and we've got VHF. So um, we'll radio through to the Coast Guard in the morning. We've got all our safety stuff in order. The weather's looking mint. It should be a great trip. For now, <laughs> I'll just wait for these kebabs, eh? Morning, it's just me and Parky awake. Keani and Luke are there. They sat in the cabin for a little bit longer. I don't know if you can see, but she's pretty glassy right now. Very shortly, we're gonna be out on the Great Barrier Reef. Let's get into it. Look who's come out of the cabin. Woo! Just in time, we're only 36k now, which um, most of that's made up of green zones, so no fishing if we see anything for the next 30 odd k. Which is a marvellous day. What a day! So we've just seen a sea snake. Have you ever seen one, honey? No, I've never seen one out here. There he is. Ooh. Oh, another big sea snake. Oh no, it's two. They're mating. It's oh, two. they're mating. Wow. Oh, look at that. Diving oh, down. he's diving down. That's my first time seeing a sea snake. Oh, look. Oh, there he is in the water. 
Sounds on the cook. And we're a couple of k's off the shallow reef. Just thought we'd have a quick try up Hey Parky. So they're actually surrounded by whales here as well. So they're right in front of us. We just saw a big whale. Oh. Oh. First fish. Just trying to cook Brecky. He didn't actually think he'd get a big fish. <laughs> no. He's got a good head shake on him. Oh yeah, come on, car, car. It's a red. It's a red. Oh no. no. What? It's a dirty Chinaman, I think. Oh, yuck. You're kidding. It's a big Chinaman. We'll have a look at it. It's a good, it's a solid Chinaman. Oh, I'll let him go. So we're not even out on the reef yet. We've already seen some dolphins, some whales, a sea snake. Yeah. How better can we do again, eh? Hey? I reckon better. I reckon better. Roof doing the trick. I think he's a nice trouty. Whoa! Big trouty! Oh. He's got some energy because I brought him straight in. Oh. <laughs> hey! Oh. We wouldn't have done that. Oh. There we go. Got him. <laughs> Lovely. Just hooked up to a G. Phew! Drop me though. Right, eh? while the kids uh, play with the uh, stick baits, I'm gonna get the uh, wetsuit on, take the gun down for a look, and um, have a look underwater and try to shoot something. Let's have a look, eh? Probably see behind me the conditions are as good as they get. We're out pretty much on the inside of like the Swains. 100 k's out from Stanage Bay. Family on a trailer boat. Didn't think it was gonna be possible so quick. Let's get out there. Start off again. Woo! All right. Well, that'll do us. We'll go around and start sussing out this reef a bit more, hey? It's pretty bloody special. I jumped in the water just to show you what it was like. I couldn't believe it. An abundance of good fish out here. But with that come the sharks. So got out of the water. One more cast, Parky. Yep. Oh no! Nothing. <laughs> We've had no luck on the fishing in the deeper water. It might be it for today, but oh, there it is. Two whales about 20 meters from the boat. Woo! Ready to go, Parky? Yeah. I see you're uh, doing what I said don't do 10 times. Yeah. Standing on the fuel. Time to head in. Go find ourselves an anchorage for the night. Into the Percy's. The 
we're nearly back in at the island and we've seen another sea snake. Double hookups. Phew. Oh. 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 Bit of chaos there, Parky got a crack of fish and I saw the shark come through and grab it. Mine was the next fish. Phew! Nanny! Oh yes, well. Get in the water. Oh. Would not have done that. Anyone done that? Wouldn't. A little bit excited to get in before the dark and uh, start to drive off without Mincoder up. Believe it or not, a couple of trips ago, come into the service station at Gladstone and I did see a half a mint coda. That's what happens. Apparently the shaft snaps if you start to take off with it um, left in. So, anyways, let's punch back into this anchorage before dark. Uh, this is Haynes 680. We just clocked in heading out from the Percy Group to the Outer Reef today. Um, we're back in safe and sound at Anchorage back at uh, Middle Island. We're all anchored up. We've just put 120 litres of fuel in there um, from the jerry cans. Keanu's doing a little cook up now. We'll do some steak burgers. Kids are in the cabin. What are you having, Parky? Noodles. Noodles on the jet boil. Yeah. Oh. Steak burgers. He's got a burger burger, aka just bread and steak. It's live, the Explore Dream. After traveling around Australia, building some of the best touring vehicles and off road trailer, we're now giving you the opportunity to win them. We have the best odds in the country. Forget about all the other guys with hundreds and millions of people entering, guys. We've just launched. This is the first month. It's a double off road jet ski trailer modeled after our very own. Only we've made a few improvements, and I can tell you this one's far better. Custom trailer, two brand new C2 Sparks. You're not going to want to miss out on this. Click the link, join the crew today. Check out the new shirt. Got bad, Maddie. Just, uh... Is that water boiled properly? Yeah, it's for worrying. No, it wasn't boiled enough. It's not hot. Just nice, cold hot chocolate and cold coffee, thanks. I thought I nailed it. Mm -mm. <laughs> Alright, so we're doing some pancakes for the kids. And us. <laughs> I was going to say, I thought I was getting some. It's not your standard pancake mix, unfortunately. It's a Donahay one, so it's a little bit more complex because you get added butter, milk, eggs, but they do taste 10 times better. So Parker's requested some Nutella in the middle, so a gooey pancake, so I'm going to give it a go. I'm just washing up back here. I'm not up the front fishing. He needs a break from fishing. He's the only one getting the fish. Give a comment, let me know. Should I be in trouble? for being the one that catches all the fish. I can only try to catch them fish. <laughs> Rig up all the rods, but when daddy gets another fish, it's like, oh great, dad's got yeah. another fish. Yep. Pancakes are done. We've got some strawberries, Nutella, honey, and butter. That is so good. Before we head off, I thought I'd give you a quick rundown on how the boat looks after our second night. So yesterday we dropped 120 liters in the, um, back in the fuel tank there. We put all the um, extra jerry cans stuck down the side of the boat there so they're out of the way for us we can still walk up the other side we've still got two more fuels rubbish bin in the cooker we've got access to the drawers and down the center Whew. the old sea deck she looks good esky down the side there with a couple more fuels and all of our spear gear or my spear gear there these eskies in the fridge are pretty good for us because it's like a big bench chair on the side so 
it's actually been really good. We set up a little bit differently the way that, to the way that we did at Gladstone. And yeah, this is much better this time. So we've got a little mattress that goes through the center there. Um, and Parky sleeps out on the deck. And then all three of us sleep up in the cabin in here. It's loaded up with all our bags at the moment. Around the front of the boat, not much happening up there. <laughs> Luke up the front, don't know what he's doing. We got this Red Arc solar blanket. I've put it out today, so hopefully it does the trick. Yeah, we really don't have enough batteries and you gotta run the motors the whole time, which is no good when you're trying to save fuel. Yeah. The reason we don't have a fixed solar panel on there is just purely because we like jumping up there all the time. We stack stuff up there. And if we put a fixed solar panel up there, probably can't really do that. So nice and easy with the big Red Arc system to put it out and get that power going when we need it. The only way you're gonna know what works for you is to go out do it again, do it again, better things, get it better. And then each trip's gonna be a little bit different. Anyways, okay. we'll get on with our morning. It's been a beautiful, slow morning. We're gonna make a move around the corner and start having a better look at this island. Navigators are up the front, letting us know if there's any bombies. There's a few little rocks and stuff around here. We saw them on the drone. Parky wants to have a little cast over them, so let's see if we can find one of these little bombies. Well, we didn't get far. We were just over there. Parky just had a big fish come up out of nowhere. But, yeah, nothing yet. It's bloody beautiful though. Just chilling. Just chilling. Find it, Lukey. What do you got? Oh, what's this? Tusky. Lukey just got the first fish of the day. Yeah. Little Tusky. Give him a kiss. <laughs> there you go. Put him down. <laughs> Woo! Down he's up front. Seen some tuna if she wants in on the action. Yanni and Parky are having a go at some tuna and they look like a little bit of bait on the bottom. Drop down the squid treks, the 130 max. Beautiful little trout. And for us, that's ceviche, that's lunch today. Really gotta get some real hot fishing. Or well, these three are gonna be off me. <laughs> uh, gonna be trouble again for it. Got him. You. Oh. oh, slow down. What do we got? Oh, lovely, honey. Yes. Oh, he's about 45. 46. Lovely. Beautiful. Look, you just got another little fish, hey? Yeah. What'd you catch it on? Uh, bait. Bait's the best, I told you. Bait's the best, you reckon? Oh, good stuff. We'll let him go, hey? Luke, you got a few more little ones. Keanu, you got a nice little trout. We're just going to head into one of these little safe anchorages here where the Percy Island yacht shelter is. And we're going to do a little ceviche lunch. So, kids are hungry, I'm hungry, we're all hungry. Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Got a big braid cut there. Oh. Yeah, I'm just going to let that cook for the next half an hour, an hour while we go on the beach. And lunch is served. Yoo-hoo! Let's go! Set, go! <laughs> <laughs> Service for the queen. <laughs> oh, God. It's a little bit chilly. A little bit chilly right for the queen. The oh, there you go, your highness. There you go. Oh, don't get too sandy. <laughs> I think Parky's found himself a coconut cracking spot. What do you reckon? Someone's cracked a coconut here before. <laughs> Good? Very juicy. Skull, 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 skull. <laughs> wow, look at all these memories. I think we should leave an explore hat here. Explore hat, you reckon? Yeah. I think you put me up on your shoulders. We could hang one up to the top. I reckon an explore hat needs to go here. An OG blue. Look at this place. Oh my god. <laughs> Check this place out. Oh, 
Yeah, this place is pretty special. I've seen a few people um, do videos on it, but they don't do justice for the sheer size of it. It's incredible. It's the middle of paradise. I'm gonna check out upstairs, hey Parky? Yeah, looks so cute. Oh, oh yeah, there's the view on it. <laughs> How is the view on it? It's incredible. Oh, oh. Hey. One thing we try to tell the kids, and it's important for everyone, is to leave these places the way you left it. So don't go moving stuff around, really look after them because they're special because someone's put the time and effort into making it special. So keep it that way. Hey kids. You've got buy some marmalade, homemade marmalade, beeswax candles, toilet paper, wow, wow, some honey, very cool. Welcome to the Percy Island shop. We have 27 beehives on the island and all honey, wow. Any donations of glass jars and lids welcome. Please pay in the honest box. Wow. This stuff still exists. I'm a name. They're telling me to head your way. Down your road and past your gates. Keep your eyes on the horizon. It's a bit chilly, Leaky. It's a bit cold. Right, hey, we're back on the boat. That place was pretty special. Haven't seen anything like it before, personally. What do you reckon, Parky? Amazing. What do you reckon, Dal? Yeah, it was unreal. It was unreal. So we put that fish ceviche in a little bit before. So I think it's been about 45 minutes, maybe even an hour now. It should be perfect. Got to put them in. Have something to eat, and then we're going to head over to a little island over there. Have a geese over there. There's a northerly, so we're going to get on that southern ledge. See how it looks. Right, a eh? bit of avocado. County had some. She was holding out on me. Josh never waits deep. Give it a bell. Just trying to do it the nice way instead of just grabbing it. Mm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's rip in. Lunch done. Come on, Loki. Let's have some lunch. It's now about 3, 2 30. And um, we've just pulled into this little bay here. There's heaps of little bommies. So Keanu and Parky are just throwing some little stick baits around, seeing if they can snag another little trout. Right, eh? I'm gonna go in for a little swim. Keanu reckons I stink. Hopefully I don't bring the sharks in. This wetsuit's been wet for too long and kept in the mugginess. I mean, Kata went flat on Keanu while she was man in the ship. A woman in the ship it was a bit of a different dive. I haven't really dived much like it, like seaweedy rocks. Now we're going to go head into about the 40 meter mark, catch some fish again. Yeah, all right. I'm on. Let your line in. <laughs> oh, What is it? 
Lift it up, Parks. Lift it up. It's a nice cod, but no, he's going to go back to swim another day. All right. <laughs> Get into him, Dale. I'm trying to take it to space. <laughs> Grassy Queen. He's actually a nice fish. Yeah. Keep him. Oh, no, nah, we'll let him go. No, we'll keep him. Okay. I like grassy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. It's a better fish, hey, Parker, you reckon? Yeah. Definitely. It swallowed that whole thing. Oh, look at that on the sounder. Holy. There we go. What do you got? Oh, just a little one. So I've handed over my catch to Josh as there was quite a few sharks underneath the water. Oh, shark. Oh, shark. Dad's struggling. There's the shark. Yeah, There's the sharks yeah. everywhere. Hey, oh, it's a big it. shovel nose. Oh. We nearly had it off and then it decided it could run another bloody. Oh. I think it just took 40 back off me. I gave it absolutely everything to get it up. So it's, like a, it to you. it's like a five foot shuffle nose and I brought it up <laughs> pretty fast. Yeah, we yeah, we did think it was a big red. Tell you what, this little, this little whatever it is. Anthem. I, tomato anthem, but it's like a little jig stick. I was guessing. With the twin power, it's deadly. Watch, she doesn't go for a run. They're coming on the tree now. There he is. Oh! Oh, yes, oh. Get it, get it, get it. Woo! That's oh. Nice nanny. On the jig. About 15 metres. Ah. Woo! Put him in the ice box. What is it? Huge one. Another big one. Huge. Oh my gosh, I thought oh. it was sticking out. Oh, Another one in the box. <laughs> Hooked it on a pillie. Oh, <laughs> Bucky's on the toy cup. Get it up, boy. Find it, boy. Keep <laughs> <laughs> going. Don't give up. You don't give it to the shark. Let's go. Get it up. Oh, keep going. Yes. Oh, another good nanny. Yeah, get him in. Pull him up. You caught him all by yourself. Oh, oh, this one's. If we get it up. It's better than the rest. Get in it before it's good. It's Come on, crank oh. it! Crank it before it gets shot! This is a good fish! Park, watch dad. Oh, sh <laughs> Oh my god, he's onto a big fish here. He's digging him. Oh no. Oh, no. Watch, there's a fish and hooks behind you. Oh, actually, you lost the other one through a shark, didn't you? What shark is it? Holy! Holy it's a huge cod! It's a cod! Holy moly! All right. That's a bloody big one! Oh. 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 Holy! Holy moly! Oh. 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 
Alright. Holy. Wow, it's a big fish. Alright. We're going to let him go. Put him back in. There he goes. Oh. No. Unfortunately, they don't release very good. I didn't see his swim bladder out, so I thought he would, but we'll put him in the box. It's been absolute mayhem for the last hour. Yanni and Parker got broken backs. I've got about a 20 kilo gold spot cod on the floor. I tried to release it, popped its swim bladder. It wouldn't go down. So, I honestly, I feel bad. I don't know what to do with it. I'll probably just whack the fillets off so it fits in my esky. And the nana guy that we're catching, I've, we've released about four or five. They're swimming down pretty good, so. We'll see how we go. Squid tracks down. That's what we've been catching these nannies on in that massive gold spot. Got him, wind it. Wind it. Pop, you got the bigger Get it, one. boy. Wind it. Oh, when you want me to take over, let me know. Nice and straight. What, it's still Parky's fish, Mum, though. Are you Ooh. Oh, this one. That's Dad's fish. <sighs> Definitely big, whatever Ooh. it is. Yep, Blake, Parky. Other nanny. Big mummy. Teamwork makes the dream. Dreamwork. Parky catches. Mummy pulls it in. <laughs> Cuz we've been out in the boat so late tonight, the easiest option for dinner with the kids was trusty old chicken nuggets in the oven. What do you think, Parks? They're good. Luke, what do you think? They're goody. Who loves chicken nuggets? Me. I've done my job. Parky's got a saw back. Yeah, he's got a saw back. They don't need to catch any more fish. They'll, they'll catch some more, but they don't need to. So now we're just going to um. I mean, cook up some dinner and yeah, get me, some shadow. Me and Keanu's dinner. The boys have had nuggets, nuggets. as you've already seen. So we're going to cook up our dinner and um yeah go to bed. Morning. It's uh day. What day is it? Day day three. Day three. Kind of day four if you include the travel on our trip. No, that is day three. Yeah. I don't know. Anyways, morning. We didn't know what we were going to do. We started looking around on Navionics at a few things and Parker's in the background. Out of reef, out of reef. We've got 260 litres remaining. Did a quick punch out what to do to do the trip we want to do out there again. About 150 litres gives us plenty. So we've got 100 litres spare and we've still got another 100 litres in Jerry to get home um, tomorrow or the next day. So yeah, we're going to go to the outer reef. We're going to get some brekkie now. Just a quick one. We're not going to cook anything. A bit of cereal, maybe a coffee and a hot chocolate. And then we're sending it. Have a look at the day on it. The anchor's sitting below us. We're not even on anchor. We're just we're just floating in the same spot. Big horse. Keanu was hooked too. We thought we were wrapped around each other. Keep going. Keep going. It could be a big gold band. Oh, it's a shark. Is it? Is it? Is it? Yeah. Keep, it's a black ship. I keep winding up. We got its tail. Your tail hooked it. <laughs> oh no. Oh, darling. Oh, holy. Ah. Can we take over? No. Got it. You sure? Yeah. You got a long way here. Here. You caught the fish. Good work. Yeah. That was a big fish. 20 meters to go. Oh! Two! Oh, oh he's a red. Oh, 
It's a nice red. red. It's a red emperor. Oh! Get him in, get him in. Other way. Yes! Wow! That was my fish! It oh. might be illegal red. Oh my god. Hey? That's my first red. Parky hooked him. We'll hold him up, hey Parky, and we'll show everyone. I've got two fish. Nice red emperor. Parky, come stand in front of him. Parky hooked him, but she had a little bit of curry for him, 60 meters deep. And then I got this fish too, so double hook up on one um, Oh, thing. it goes 50, 58, Parky. Yay! First legal red. Right, you! Two fish. You! Good work, buddy. Up. Lift him up into the boat. Maybe. Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> Good work, you got a trout. We'll get another one. Keanu's on again. Doesn't seem oh, doesn't seem like that big red from the last drift, but Let's see what she's got. I reckon another little husser. Pikey's getting a little few little tiddlers. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, sh Holy! And this stuff just keeps happening. Oh, you got a little baby red, baby. Hold him up and we'll let him straight go. Woo! Holy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> Reds here. Okay. Whales there. Oh, yes. Fish on. I'm on two. Oh, doubles. Parky's looks a bit smaller. Oh, he's, he's still there, Parky. He's pulling string on you. Do you want me to tighten the drag? Yeah. Or can you deal with it? Just slow down. There you go. Parky's over here having a go at it. I reckon he's got a little one. He's got a little husser. How you going, honey? Good. Oh, I see colour. What is he? Oh, he's a nice red throat. Oh. Holy moly, you're a wild woman. Oh, oh I got pearly. Lift him in. It's oh. a nice red lipper. Red throat. Sweet. Look at Luke, you got a baby. Parky oh. got a baby brim. <laughs> Ready? Lift. Oh. oh. Who tied the hook on? Me. Okay. Luke, you tell him what happened. <laughs> Who tied the knot? Parker. Was it me? It's a bit yeah. of sabotage there if you ask me. Lukey just hooked a nice fish. Any bite. bites this time, buddy? I got one bite. What's on the sounder? A whole school of fish. Lift, lift, lift. Got it, you got him? Yeah, he's on. Woo! Oh, what is he? Get some bite to him. Hello, Lukey. Oh, what is he? Little, oh, he's oh, a little red throat. <laughs> Good stuff. Hey? Oh. Can we use him for a bait? No. We'll let him swim. Where's the pliers? All right, no one gets any the pliers. <laughs> I'm going to see how much. Oh. Just coming into this little reef system. There's some bommies in like a little lagoon. So we're going to try to get in there. Got um, Keani, Parky, and Luki all up the front navigating. It's bloody amazing. It's so good. <laughs> We're at anchor now. Oh! Stop it. What have you got, honey? Pulled pork, fried rice, on a wrap. <laughs> How's your wrap, doll? So good. Mm. <laughs> this isn't so bad, hey, darling? Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, we're just gonna have a nice sit here and have a beer. Shandy. It is a shandy. <laughs> I wasn't going to tell you I'm having a shandy. <laughs> Woman. Me and County were having a little bit of us time while the kids fished. <laughs> Didn't last long, did it, Dahan? Never does.
down and get our dinner started. Cooker out, chicken. Even though we've got all this fresh fish, but we bring this food in case you don't catch fish. And you do catch fish, and you gotta eat the food you brought. That's all good. We'll eat the fish when we get home. Just relocated the chicken cooking over there to get it out of the wind. We've got a hard end. Kids, eh? What a life. We're out here doing dinner. There and there, watching a movie. Yarns on the cook. What is this? It's gigantic. Mmm, all right. M&M time. Yeah. Dessert time. <laughs> Woo. Can't forget chocolate on the boat. What do you reckon? Good day, guys? Yeah. yeah. Great day. So we're going to get up in the morning and um, I don't know what we're going to do. We'll say hello in the morning for now. Good night. We've had a few little uh, tips for others. What do you reckon? <laughs> get your wife to tie the knots and tack all herself. Yeah, that's a good one. Get your wife to tie her own knots because <laughs> we're on some good ground pulling up reds and here I am tying three different rods up, baiting three different rods up. They all love fishing, but um, yeah, a few knots to learn. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, other than that, take plenty of fuel. We had more than enough fuel for this trip, which is great. We've got about 150 litres left over. Um, and have a decent sounder because we hadn't been up here before. And without a decent sounder, all the marks we found, we were pretty much driving to a different spot doing 20 knots and we'd find a new mark. So yeah, get a decent sounder if you're gonna go to new ground and expect to catch good fish. Other than that, enjoy the explore life. I hope you enjoy the episode. See you next time. Phew. So when we put the boat in the water, Kiani backed the trailer back. She said, I even put the trailer lock on. <laughs> Have a go at it. Trailer lock on, eh? Not quite, darling. <laughs> Not quite.